Christ in you, the hope of glory. I love it. Let's look at Colossians 1.27 and Isaiah 42.6. Colossians 1.27 says, To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Isaiah 42.6 says, I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles. I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. The one who walks beside you, holding your hand, is the same one who lives within you. This is the deep, unfathomable mystery. You and I are intertwined in an intimacy involving every fiber of your being. The light of my presence shines within you, as well as upon you. I am in you, and you are in me. Therefore, nothing in heaven or on earth can separate you from me. As you sit quietly in my presence, just like Mandy sitting quietly right now, your awareness of my life within you is heightened. This produces the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. I, the God of hope, fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in me, so that you may bubble over with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I love this one line so much, I'm going to back up. I am in you, you are in me. Therefore, nothing in heaven or on earth can separate you from me. And that's so true. That's how we have hope. I don't know how people honestly in this world live without hope. I really do not know because God is the hope that we have. I mean, the world is just so up and down. Our circumstances are up and down. Life's up and down. There's COVID, there's taxes, there's inflation. I mean, just all this stuff. And yet, There's God, just this calm in our life because our hope is in him and he gives us joy. So I hope my friend today that if you don't know him, that you just receive him because he is going to just fill your life up just to overflowing. And it's just so much more fun to have his joy in your heart because if you're looking for the world to give you joy, ain't going to happen. The world is only going to bring you grief and pain and sorrow. But when you read your Bible and rest in him, he gives you joy. So I hope today you have the joy of the Lord in your heart and I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, NancyJoyToYou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.